Good morning. It is now Sunday morning. I forgot to give you guys an update after golf um, yesterday. So after golf yesterday, I just went to dinner with some friends and then went home, got some rest. And now here it is Sunday morning and we are gonna head north toward, toward the town of Payson, just going up that highway and just whatever I see that looks cool, I'm gonna go explore it. So that is literally the only plan I have is to go explore things that I think look cool heading north. <laughs> that is how I like to adventure. That is how I like to explore. No set plans, just seeing where the day takes me and exploring. So let's get into this day. Let's get into this adventure. No way too much stuff in there. Good to go, baby. Let's get out of here. Let's go. So we are at Mount Ord and we will actually be driving up to there. That is Mount Ord. Wow, this is already so cool. Pretty flipping sweet. Wow, look at that. So up there is Payson. You can see right here, this is the rim. The rim by Payson. This area right here is so, so cool. I hope to be exploring up here in the, in the near, near future. I love getting up on these mountains and just having these vast, wide open views. They're so, so beautiful. It's so fun just to look out over these landscapes. This is incredible. Just look at that. Man, gotta love it. All right, let's keep going up this mountain. What am I even driving on right now, dude? Flipping sweet! Whoa, look at this shady little gate, man. It's like the beginning of a horror movie right here. <laughs> ah, just kidding. I hope not. Okay, so no unauthorized vehicles past that point, like the sign said. So uh, I'm gonna get on the hiking boots and we'll hike up to the top. It's a little bit further up to the top of this mountain, so this is an awesome spot. There's a fire pit like right here. Another fire pit over there. So I'm pretty sure you can just car camp right here. So I'm definitely gonna have to get back up here one of these weekends. Do a little car camping up here. Oh man, this is incredible. Another fire pit right here. And look at look at the view of your fire pit. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. Definitely gotta get back up here for some car camping. Oh my lordy. Oh man. Oh wow, there's no way you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get you guys a view, but there's no way you're gonna be able to see this. So there's no way you guys can see this on the GoPro. There's just no way, but there's a peak way over there, full of snow. And that has to be Mount Humphreys. That has to be Flagstaff. Oh my gosh, that is just so cool. That is just too, too cool, man. I'm stoked right now. The stoke is high yet again. This is what I love. Let's get the boots on. Let's hike to the top and get more views. <laughs> We are off, up this road. Let's get after it. Yeah, we're getting into the snow now. So we are high up here.
just gonna sit right here and just soak it all in. This is the perfect spot to have some lunch. Nothing like a little protein bar for lunch. So I just finished eating lunch and I kid you not, I've been sitting here for like over an hour easily. I don't want to leave. <laughs> look at these, look at these views. What is even my life right now? What am I even looking at? Just sitting in a chair over the, all these views? Are you kidding me? It's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. The day the Lord has made. Man, oh man, am I praising him right now because these views are ridiculous. The GoPro probably doesn't even do it justice at all. But just views all around. It's awesome. It's awesome. spider <laughs> you dude oh what's up little pine dude them hops <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm white I probably got about that far off the ground <laughs> do you guys think I could throw a rock into Lake Roosevelt from here I think I probably could let's try it okay we made it back to the car I think I'm gonna make a quick cup of coffee and then uh, head back down and see what else we can find okay so I actually drove down the mountain a little bit first before making coffee because a bunch of people showed up to where I was I just didn't want to film myself making coffee in front of them I felt kind of weird you know it's so funny because when I'm out here by myself and I'm talking to the camera it feels so normal to me because I feel like I'm just talking to you guys like I'm just talking to my friends that are on the hike with me but when there's other people around me, it like snaps me back to reality of like, oh yeah, I'm just that dude out here talking to a camera. <laughs> but I do it for you guys. Like you guys are here with me. I can feel it. So when I'm by myself, it just feels totally normal. Like I'm just talking to my friends and it's only when people are around me that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just that weirdo talking to my camera. <laughs> so this will be the new spot that we make coffee at. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. This place just has views on views on views. So this will be where we're making our little midday cup of coffee. Heck yeah.
Ossie Elliott, so good. But the coffee has been made. So, cheers. Come check out this coffee view. Cheers. Also, this cool little monument they have right here. It's all these stacked up rocks. And they have all this writing on them like, I am enough. Surrounded by your glory. You are the great I am. Romans 818. Protect my heart. All these cool little sayings and like all these little scriptures. It's like a little monument for God. Amongst his beauty, amongst his creation. I thought that was super cool. All these individuals wrote on these rocks some encouraging words, all experiencing the same love and the same God that I experience when I'm out here in this nature. So it's so, so cool to see that. I wish I had a Sharpie I could add to this, but I don't. But nonetheless, it's so cool to see it because all these people are experiencing the same God that I'm experiencing as I'm out here enjoying his creation. And that to me is so powerful because God is working in so many people's lives and touching so many people's hearts all around us. So cool. So encouraging. Love to see it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for how good you are. Fresh up. No! The cup of coffee I literally just made. I just spilt it everywhere. Almost got on my drone batteries. Hopefully these are okay. That is the worst. I was literally just about to say we've got a fresh cup of Joe and we can hit the road and keep exploring. And now I just spilt more than half of it. There's like a little bit left in there, like barely any. That is unbelievable. I gotta make another cup. I made this, I didn't even get to drink it. I gotta make another cup, I'll be right back. Okay. I literally made a brand new cup of coffee after that. Cheers again. <laughs> I can't believe I spilt it like that. That was just so unfortunate. But we have a new cup. I'll try my best not to spill this one. <laughs> but yeah, what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted was that uh, got a fresh cup of coffee and now I'm going to head back down this mountain and see what else we can find. So let's go. Made it over that day before you drop I'll thank you when you own the dry your mind Well the love that you got in my whole again That gum is bumpy as heck Just sitting all the way down this mountain I'm gonna need new teeth after this Good lord, there's a lot of snow up here. Well, shoot. <laughs> I, uh, I opted to come up to Payson, up to the rim, which is where I'm at right now. And there's still so much snow up here. Like, all the roads are closed. You can't even get on the rim. Like, there's, like, nowhere to go. So that is unfortunate. Um, I was hoping to get up here, get on the rim, and watch sunset up here. Maybe fly the drone, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to a rim spot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to even get to a viewpoint because everything's closed. I might have to just flip a UE and just flip a 180 and go back. 
go back toward Phoenix and try to catch sunshine back there. It's about almost five o'clock now, so we're kind of pressed for time, but I did not expect this. That is very, very unfortunate. Um, well, I tried. I tried finding a little sunset spot, but I cannot seem to find one up here. Um, all the roads that are open are kind of just set back from the rim and there's like no views. And yeah, I just can't find anything. So I did my best. I did my due diligence of searching, I think. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna find anything up here tonight. We gotta wait until the snow melts and then we can come back. But as of right now, it's not looking too good. So, like I said, I think I'm just gonna flip a Yui and just head back into the valley and try to find a little lookout point down there and watch sunset from there. So, it's a short-lived little trip up here in Payson, but now we're, I think we're just gonna start heading back. To show you guys what I'm talking about, this is one of the roads that usually gets you out to like a viewpoint on the rim. Obviously, it's just closed. <laughs> You can't even see the road. There's just too much snow. No one's plowing it because it's not even a, it's just a primitive road, so no one's gonna plow it. And yeah, so all the roads that go out to the viewpoints are looking like that. <laughs> so there's not much options up here right now. I try my best to find something, but I cannot. So I'm flipping a Yui and I'm heading back. But the bright side, look how beautiful it is still. This is incredible. So honestly, it's not its not all for nothing. I get to see this beautiful view anyways through the trees and the snow. It's still so beautiful. But let me tell you about a place where we all used to go. Turn out toes, you silent. Keep your eyelid on the road. Oh yeah. We found the sunset spot, baby. Oh yeah, this is the sunset spot. All right, I'm gonna get my drone up and try to get some shots, so here they come. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. You guys saw it on the drone shots. Look at this. This is incredible. See, remember when I said everything happens for a reason? So we went to Payson, didn't work out, and now we ended up at this amazing spot this is one of the best spots i've found so far in arizona this is the sickest sunset spot 
This is probably the sickest sunset spot I've found so far. So we ended this weekend off super strong with an insane, insane sunset. It was a fabulous weekend. So that is gonna conclude this episode. That is gonna conclude this adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments that you're still watching. I really appreciate the ones who watched the whole video. The people that make it through the whole video, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. You guys mean the world to me. Subscribe so you don't miss future adventures. Like this video, it helps me out more than you know. And until next time guys, don't stop exploring. We'll see you guys in the next one.